hey 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 you guys i'm back with another video and today we're talking all about smell good about perfume my little small collection perfume collection i want to show you guys and it is right here behind me and i'm gonna go through each one of them with you guys so listen if you love the smell good like i do and you love perfume honey this is the video for you and you don't want to miss it I am Latursa, and on this channel, we talk a lot about self-care, hygiene, life advice, and just a little bit of sprinkle in between. So if any of that intrigues your little mind, honey, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications so you won't miss another episode. So we're going to jump right into it. So the first thing I'm going to go through is this bottom shelf. This is my Dossier Ears collection. So it's not that much, but these are the ones um, that I got. And this one, we'll start with this one. This one is Floral Lavender. And it's from Dossier. And it looks like this. And the reason why I love it, y'all, I just thought this was so unique, you guys. Hold on, you guys. But I just think it's so unique. Look at that. Look how, look how it does that. Okay, and this one is floral lavender, and the notes is the top notes is Madarin, neroli, black currant. The middle note is jasmine, lavender, and orange blossom, and the base note is a vanilla and amber musk. And this is the dupe for uh, YSL Libre, if I'm not by mistake. If I am, y'all correct me. But this is floral lavender. When I tell y'all, it's one of my favorites. This is my third bottle. I bought one for myself, and then I loved it so much. I bought another one, and I bought my daughter one. So, super, super, highly recommend 10 out of 10. So, love, love, love that. All right. The next dossier dupe I got, which I got back for my birthday, was Fruity Honey. And it's the dupe for Joe Malone Nectarine and Blossom. When I tell y'all, this stuff smell so good. So good. And all of these was like $29 to $39. I think floral mushroom was the, the most I paid, uh, $39.99. But this one is Fruity Honey. And this one, see if y'all can see that. Hold on here. Oh, my light. Okay, there we go. Fruity honey. So, so this one, the top notes is black currant, green leaves. The middle note is honey and nectarine. Y'all know I love sweet stuff, and nectarine is something similar to peach, and I love peach. The base note is peach and vet vetiver. I think I'm saying that right, but listen, Darcy Air is now in Walmart, you guys. So, listen, if you don't want to order online, you can go check your local Walmart. Some Walmart still don't have it in there, but I know Walmart.com. Got it on there because I was looking the other night. So I'm going to leave the links below for you guys if you want to check it out at Walmart, all that good stuff. I'm going to leave the links below for you guys. But this one, Fruity Honey, if you love Tom uh, Joe Malone, Nectarine and Blossom, honey, it smells just like it. Because y'all know I be taking my dossiers and my purse and going in Sephora and smelling and make sure it smells right because I don't want to, y'all know I don't want to be lying to y'all. So yeah, this right here, you guys. A 10 out of 10. Love, love, love that. And can y'all just say my perfume collect? My little perfume stand is so cute. And then the next one is floral rhubarb. I'm trying to think, what's the what is this duping? Oh my goodness, my brain is I'm having a brain fart, a brain freeze. But the top notes is rhubarb, orange blossom, um. I want to say this is the dupe for Marc Jacobs Perfect. Yep, this is the dupe for Marc Jacobs Perfect. It's rhubarb is the top notes, orange blossom, and peach. The middle notes is daffodil, milk, milky accord, and the base notes is cedarwood, blondswood, and musk. Yeah, it smells good. So if y'all go try, if y'all like Marc Jacobs Perfect, this is the dupe and it's $29.99. This is Floral Rhubarb from Dossier. 10 out of 10. Love, love, love. This is like my third bottle of this as well. See, if y'all don't know by now, when I find something that I like, I I, I, I keep re-upping on it. I, I, I buy it. You know, I don't just be buying stuff just because I got to really like it. And the next one, the last one of Dossier 
is Floral Marshmallow. And this is the dupe for Rihanna, um, Love Don't Be Shy. Now this I wore on my birthday. Honey, when I tell you the compliments was coming in on this one, honey. Only thing is my daddy was trying to block it. <laughs> Every man that came up to me because they was trying to talk to me and here come daddy. Okay, young man, how you doing? I'm like, really daddy? But listen, floral marshmallow. This is the top notes. Marshmallow and bergamot. Middle notes is orange blossom, honeysuckle, jasmine. And the base notes is amber, vanilla, and musk. Floral marshmallow, you guys. I think I paid like $39 or $49. I can't quite remember, but this is what I wore for my birthday. Honey, they was out. <laughs> Honey, your girl was smelling fly. Your girl was smelling good. This right here, I say about a nine out of ten because everybody hypes it up because you know this is supposed to be Rihanna's signature scent, but I like it because y'all know I love marshmallows. So anything with that caramel smell, vanilla like smell, your girl loves it. So nine out of ten on this one, highly recommend. And while we're on the subject, I got these little babies from Amazon. So if you're traveling and you don't want to take your big bottle of perfume, grab these babies right here. They are on Amazon. Little um, uh, miniature travel size. Little You can put your perfume in here. That way you won't have to take your big bottle. So I will leave these in the link below for you guys. So did that. And then this one is Ariana Grande. This is like more of my everyday scent. I'm going to always wear Ariana Grande. Y'all know I love my fruity scents. And this is, you can mix it with so many things. I've mixed this with um, pink sugar. i mixed this with um, some of Victoria. Um, oh, God, I can't, can't think of it. My brain is just going freeze. Y'all, your girl been up since 430. <laughs> Y'all know I do my most quality work in the early mornings while nobody's up. But this right here will always be in my staples. You can wear this every day. You can dress it up however way you want to. It's your world, honey. Wear it like you want it. But this right here will always be in my collection. So let me put this back on here. And then y'all know my latest obsession. Y'all know last year I was raving about... Um, Billie Eilish. It, if you're a vanilla scent, scented girl, this is more on the elevated. It's not, you know, some people say kitty, kitty perfumes or whatever, but this right here, I think it's a grown woman vanilla scent. And can y'all just get into the bottle? I love things that are elegant. A lot of times the bottle is what sell me because I love cute stuff. And this just, just represents elegance. Because, honey, we all elegant. Women are some bad creatures. Do y'all hear me? We are some bad creatures. Bad, shut your mouth. But this right here, 10 out of 10. Because I bought two travel size when I could have just bought the, the one ounce. Because I paid for it anyway. Because it's like 80 something dollars, I think, at Ulta. When I tell y'all, it smells the vine. So, listen, not even going to talk about how elegant the bottle is. But this right here, 10 out of 10. And then my next one is my old faithful. Y'all know, if y'all been following me for some time, y'all know how I feel about my way, Giorgio Armani, my way. Oh, it's so good. I can't really give you the notes because they ain't got it on here like Dossier. So <laughs> forgive me for that. But this right here, my way, will always be in my collection. I've been wearing this for years. One of my staples. I love, love, love this. And you can mix this with a lot as well. I always say just play around with stuff. You never know what concoction you may come up with and create your own little signature scent that nobody else can repeat or, or re re reproduce. It smells divine. 10 out of 10. And then my next one is the Victoria Tees. Y'all know your girl been feeling this. I wear this just about every day. I ain't gonna lie to you. I mix this with the um, OES um, Vanilla Cashmere Lotion. Mm, girl, had your girl smelling luxurious. Honey, you got to sometimes bring that luxurious spa vibes to your own home. This right here, when I tell y'all... I hate that they didn't have no more. I should have got two of them because they was 50% off a few months ago. But they was like the last little bit. But they say they're going to bring them back because it was one of their top sellers. 
when I tell y'all Victoria's Secret tea sugar floor, because they got a lot on this, the teas collection, but the sugar floor, I had the, the body scrub and everything that goes with it. But this right here, 10 out of 10, you guys, do you hear me? Love, love, love this. If you can find it, if they bring it back, please tell Victoria's Secret, bring this back. This is a 10 out of 10. And then my next one is one that I hardly pick up, but I like it when I do wear it. It's the Perry Ellis um, Coral Perfume. And believe it or not, I think I only paid like 15 bucks for this at, um, T at Ross. But I did a little damage to it. But like I said, I like it when I wear it. When I reach for it, I really like it. So I say it's about a 7 or 8 out of 10 not like one of my favorite favorite but when i when i reach for it i do love it and this right here this will always be in my house and here's the here's the story when i was younger like in my high school days college days i hated vanilla scented anything didn't like it at all did just hated it girl ask me why now at 45 I have to have some kind of vanilla something in the mix. Do you hear me? It's like my signature scent, something with vanilla. And this is an everyday scent. You can wear this every day. It doesn't have to do a lot. It's take you a good shower, put this on and some Vaseline, honey. You will smell divine. Oh my goodness. And believe it or not, when I was younger, I used to love putting the body fantasies in my purse, the travel size. And I still do that if I find them, but old staples in my house. So that is my collection, you guys. It's real small. I know if you look at all these uh, perfume channels, this this is a baby. No, this is, yeah, this is an infant. It ain't even made it to the toddler stages yet. But I'm building my collection, and so far I'm loving what I have because I wear my stuff, you guys. I love it. So I hope this video encourages you, inspires you, that you can smell good, look your best all on a budget without breaking a bank. I love you guys, and I'll see you in my next video.